how do you customize your channel layout? All the things that people see when they go to your channel page. Log into YouTube, come down here to YouTube Studio, go to Customization, and the very first tab, you have three tabs up here, Layout, Branding, and Basic Info, and the Layout tab has all of what we're looking for. So first things first, the channel trailer for people who haven't subscribed. So you can create a channel trailer, which is kind of an introduction to your channel. Make a short little video that tells people why your channel's there and why they are in the right place for whatever they're looking for. To add a channel trailer, just click the Add button, and then you will select a video from one of your uploaded videos. So before you hit the Add button, you're going to want to have your, the video you want to use as a trailer upload it to your YouTube channel, and then you just select it. I don't have one of those put together for this channel yet, so I'm not going to upload anything or select anything. Featured video for returning subscribers. What this does is it takes the video that you select and puts it at the very top, where the channel trailer would be for people that aren't subscribed, and shows it to your existing subscribers as the, hey, this is the one I recommend that you watch now. Now, if they've already watched it, it won't show up there. YouTube doesn't, you know, continue to push it to somebody that's already seen it. Add it in the same similar way. You just click add and pick whichever video you want to show up there. The for you is this section that appears at the top of the channel page that presents the videos that YouTube has identified are the best fit for the viewer, whoever they are, that's happened upon your channel page. You can turn this on or off by clicking this toggle button right here, and it will only be viewable if you actually have enough content. So if you've only posted one video to your channel so far, you're not really going to see a For You a section up there because there isn't enough for YouTube to sort of pick through and match things to the viewer. Your featured sections, you don't have to rely on YouTube to decide what to have in those sections on your channel page. You can pick and choose what you want to be shown to viewers. You can have up to 12 sections here. That's a lot. What I have on this particular channel is in my first section, I have playlists. And then in my next section, I have videos, and then I have shorts down in the bottom section. If you want to add a section to here, you just click this Add section, and you have lots of choices to pick from. The reason these are grayed out is because I've already used them, the videos and short videos, but you can have a section with your most popular, you can have your live now, past live streams, upcoming, add all different kinds of playlists, other channels if you want, and top community clips as well. And if you have something on your page that you're not so fond of, you can just click these stacked dots here where it says options and say remove section. Or if you need to edit the contents, you can click these three little stacked dots, hit edit section contents, and then over here on the left, since this is a playlist section, it's showing me all the playlists that are available. And then on the right, it's saying these are the playlists in this section. If I want to remove one of these playlists from this section, I can just hit the little trash can. It doesn't delete the playlist or make it go away forever off of YouTube. All it's doing is taking it out of this section. And if I want to add sections, I can just come over here and click the little check boxes and it'll pop them over there. If I uncheck them in this session here, it just takes them right back away. And I could have a section title here as well. So I can label this Depending on what I'm doing, I could put a section heading up there and say playlists or interesting playlists or I don't know, I'm not thinking very creatively right now. But if you thought about it for a minute, you could probably come up with a title that would tell the viewer that's scanning down through this page, hey, this is where you want to be if this is what you're looking for. I didn't make any changes here, so I'm just going to hit cancel. Once you've made all the changes here you want to make to the layout of your channel page, just hit publish and you're good to go. Now, YouTube may ask you for verification and depending on how you have things set up is how the verification process would work. In my case, it'll pop up and say, we need to verify this. We've sent a message to your phone. So I go onto my phone. I check a box that says, yes, I'm making this change. And then it gives me three numbers to pick from. And I pick the number that matches whatever it's popped up on screen and it we're good. I'm not sure. I imagine there are other verification methods that people have set up. I did it so long ago, I can't remember. But there may be something like an email verification or a text verification or that kind of thing. They're just making sure it's you that's making changes to your channel. Now let's talk about the branding tab of the customization section. That's where you can change your channel banner image, your picture, icon, logo, avatar thingy, and your video watermark. Click the video that's on your screen right now and we'll get into it. 